Next week, the Supreme Court takes up Proposition 8, which bans same-sex marriage in California, and both sides are coming out in full force right now, including one very passionate 12-year-old boy. That's right. Daniel Lefeu and his 8-year-old sister, Selena, were adopted by two gay dads. When he heard that Chief Justice John Roberts is the father of two adopted children, he wrote him a letter urging him to support same-sex marriages. Listen to Daniel read part of that letter. You and I both know that family goes deeper than blood. I was lucky to be adopted by two guys I can both call dad. They give me and my sister so much love. My dad, Jay, works at San Francisco as a deputy sheriff. And my dad, Brian, works, stays at home and takes care of me and my sisters. My dad's really encouraged me to excel in life. Push a needle and I pull the thread Trying to put myself back together again yeah. And I, will I believe that eventually we'll get what we're after Robert. My name is Daniel Martinez Lafield, and I live in Northern California. But I need it now. Daniel! Daniel! Hey, Daniel. Hey. Uh, so you look like awful cute in your little uh, muscle quiet. garment. Be quiet. Huh? And all I see out my window's a hummingbird flying back. <laughs> Guess where we're going tonight? So, Selena, what did you think of it? You got to see the real thing. Well, I really liked it. You really liked it? Did you really, really like it? Well, YouTube, I don't know if you can tell, but Selena's been on cloud nine all night. Will I believe that eventually we'll get what we're after? But I need it now. And all I see out my windows a hummingbird flying backwards. And that's good enough for now. Everybody's excited to go home. We've been five weeks on the road five and we're weeks. looking forward to finally going home. Okay. So, I know this people get arrested for this, but it's officially a kiss in front of the LDS church. As the waves crash down, so cast your sails 
Then follow me out towards the horizon As the scene fades out Tell me a little bit about putting yes. your family out there for the world to see. There can be downsides to that, too. People can say, look, you're, you're showing what it's like to be your family. There are others who say, maybe kids shouldn't be in the spotlight. We've heard both of those arguments. Um, what people don't understand, though, is how much is at risk for us as a family. Because we began this because of Prop 8. And we were very lucky during that time to have our marriage grandfathered in and not to have that annulled when they upheld Prop 8 at the California Supreme Court. But as things progress, and now that we're at the federal Supreme Court, that's you know really at risk again for us. So what we had hoped to do through our YouTube channel at Gay Family Values was to show that laws like this affect families like ours in very real ways. You know, they're not an abstract concept. You know, and for many people, it, it might be simply a moral issue that doesn't touch them personally. But we tried to, you know, show our family as a way of saying this is this is who it affects, and we are real people.